Hey everybody, welcome back to the ABCs of mental performance. D is for do versus don't. And this week we're gonna talk about two very different mindsets when it comes to practice and performance. The first one is called a performance approach mindset. And similar to like if we're approaching something and we're moving towards it, a performance approach mindset involves focusing on the things that we're moving towards, focusing on the things that we want to happen. So as a student, that might mean focusing on learning as much as possible or on getting a certain grade. As an athlete, it might mean focusing on improving a skill, making a play, or even winning a game. The other type of mindset is called performance avoidance mindset. When we avoid something, we're trying to stay away from it. A performance avoidance mindset means focusing on the things that we're trying to avoid. Maybe as a student, this means trying not to make mistakes trying not to get an answer wrong. We're trying not to look bad in front of my classmates. As an athlete, it might mean, again, avoiding mistakes or avoiding losing. And unsurprisingly, when it comes to research, it's shown that performance approach mindset not only leads to better performance, both in practice and in actual performances themselves, but it actually helps our overall well-being and increases our likelihood of enjoying the overall experience. So my challenge for you this week as a student is to have a performance approach mindset. Go into class thinking and focusing on the things that you want to move towards and that you want to make happen. As a teacher and as a coach, help cultivate this performance approach mindset by helping your students and athletes focus on the things that you want them to make happen, that you want them to move towards. And if you do this, regardless of your role, I think you're going to find that it gives you your best chance to both perform and enjoy the experience. Thanks for joining me for the ABCs of Mental Performance. See you all next week.